Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a processor into the HP Z420 Professional Workstation. For this installation, you will need either a flathead or hex screwdriver. Either will do. I also recommend placing the computer flat on its side so you are better able to apply pressure to the screws holding the heatsink down. Before beginning, please ensure your computer's power cord is unplugged and that it is discharged by holding down the blue power button until it is unlit. Access the interior by identifying and pulling on the handle until it clicks and pulling up to separate the panel from the computer. Now it will slide off easily and it can be placed aside for now. Next, identify the heatsink and the four screws holding it in place. The processor will be installed under the heatsink. Please note that it is best to use the longest screwdriver you have to better apply pressure to the screws. Now, you can begin removing the heatsink. Unscrew each corner of the heatsink until you hear a small click and it feels loose. Pull up gently on the heatsink, and if one is still slightly attached, finish unscrewing the corner and now you will be able to remove the heatsink. Leave the heatsink in place for now. Remove the left panel to gain access to the power cable attached to the heatsink's fan. This is done by identifying the two green tabs, gently squeezing them inward and pulling up to remove the panel. Now identify the power cable as shown here. Using your screwdriver, place it through the loop so that you can pull up from both ends at the same time. This will require a bit of a harder pull, but it will pop out after a couple of seconds. Now you can remove the heatsink. In order to obtain access to the processor slot, first pull out and upward on the leftmost rod holding the processor cover down. Then pull on the right rod in the same way, ensuring both are now facing an upward angle. Lastly, use two fingers to gently remove the processor cover. Next, ensure the chosen processor and thermal paste are nearby and ready for installation. Identify the small triangular marking on the processor in the white triangle on the motherboard. These will need to be facing each other as each processor is keyed so that it only fits one way. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure all tabs are aligned and that the processor is evenly placed in. Now. Apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste to the center of the processor. This will spread out once you place the heat sink on. Next, place the cover down on top, push down the rod to the right, and place it in its holder, and then do the same with the left rod. This will take some pressure to push it down. To replace the heat sink, ensure it is first clean. If needed, use rubbing alcohol and paper towel to clean. Once clean, slowly lower the heat sink and power cable in and align all four tabs with the screws. Plug the power cable back in for the fan. It is keyed, so make sure to check and not force it into the connection. Once done with that, screw the heatsink down to the motherboard while holding a decent amount of pressure on the heatsink itself. We are almost done now. Before closing the workstation, place the inside panel back into the system. Align the green tabs as shown and press firmly to ensure a firm hold. Lastly, replace the computer's outer cover by aligning the panel cover with the computer and pushing down just like this. Then you can snap it into place and we are done. Please check out our other how-to videos covering processor, memory, and video card installation as well as an in-depth system overview of the HP Z420 workstation. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more helpful.